that was so annoying. Okay, so I just got back from vacation like two days ago and I went to Myrtle Beach and you girl did some shopping. That's an understatement. So I have Ulta, H&M, and then like stores down there. First, my boyfriend bought me this shirt at Walmart. Isn't it so cute? We're just going to start off with this. Ah, oh, it's like a little halter and then it has like a little bit of scrunchy, like that little... What do you call this? Like, if I could grab it. Like, stretchy material. And then it's just like roses. And it's so cute. So he bought me that. Then, I'm pretty sure I got this at Walmart too. I had to get like a tourist Myrtle Beach shirt. So it's tie-dye and it says Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. If you can see that, you can't really see that. Hold on. There we go. So I got this tie-dye one. And then, I just realized I also went to Dick's Last Resort and got another tie-dye shirt. It was really like, like <laughs> But if you don't know what Dick's Last Resort is, it's basically like a restaurant where they're like really mean to you and like they give you, Aaron, and they give you like hats with insults on them and it's a fun time. So I got this shirt and it says Dick's Last Resort Myrtle Beach. I know, I, I didn't even think about it until I got home. I was like, I got two tie-dye Myrtle Beach shirts, like I'm so basic. Then we went to Broadway at the beach, you guys, and like I put my bathing suits, like I picked them out for vacation and I set them in my closet. And they, like, spilled over, like, I have this little thing for my bathing suits, like, a three-door pull-out. And I set them on there, and, like, half of them fell off, but I thought I grabbed them all, and I literally, like, didn't bring, like, four of the bathing suits that I picked out. So I really wanted strapless ones because I didn't want tan lines right here because I've been going tanning. So, like, I didn't have tan lines because, you know, like, you don't wear a bra in a tanning bed. So I found this one, and it has removable straps, and it's, like, this black and teal with like lime green outlining my camera's dying wow i literally just had it plugged in anyway but anyway i'm a 32 double d this is a small and i got a small because i'm only a 32 around so i was like if i get a medium it's going to be too big because this isn't like really adjustable you know it's just this one loop to go on so i was like if i get a medium it'll be too big this literally like covered my nipples i couldn't even wear it was, i just it was a total waste of money so that was cool then we have Old Navy, and here I got some stuff. So first I got, I basically got the same shirt in two different colors. So I got this on clearance for $4.99 because you know I get the deals. And it's like this light pale pink with like a little bow on the side. And then I also got it in black and this one says $11.49 but I don't think it was that much. And it's literally the same thing, like it's like the black with the little bow in the bottom. And I thought this was cute because I could wear this with any printed leggings. I love getting like basic black and white tops to wear with printed leggings because in the fall and winter time, all I wear is printed leggings and fall is coming up. So, yes. Then, ooh, I like forgot what I got. Okay, this was only $5.97 and it's like this really cute fall color. Like it just has ruffles over the top. It's just a simple tank top, but I thought it was like a really good color for fall. Oh, I got these for my stepdad. I forgot. Apparently, I got these Marvel socks for my stepdad. Okay. I forgot about those. Oops. Okay. Then we have H&M, and I love this store, and we don't have it where I live, so I was so excited. So first, and you know, I hit up the clearance racks because that's how I do it. So this was originally $17.99, and I got it for 8 bucks, and it is this gorgeous, like, rose-printed short-sleeve cardigan. Just look how pretty this print is. Like, oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. So Then I got another floral shirt, and this one, let me look, was originally $24.99, and I got it for 5 bucks. So it's just like a long-sleeve little button-up. Like, see, it just has buttons all the way down. It doesn't have a pocket. It does not have a pocket. Okay. But it's just this really pretty floral print. It's like black, and then it has really tiny rose details on it. Then I got this, and this is another floral print, who would have guessed? And this is literally, this was originally $9.99, I got it for $6.99, and it's literally just like a floral, like, hoodie without a hood, like, it's just like, it's not like a thick sweater material, but it's just, I don't know, it's simple, and I like it. Then I got this sweater because this was cheap. Um, oh, this says $9.99, I think it was on sale, I don't know, maybe it wasn't. It's just like a really pretty red stitched with blue. Just a cute sweater. And then I got this. Oh my gosh. So this was originally $17.99 and I got it for 
it's like again because you have guessed floral print so it has a collar and it's just um a button down like dress and i literally think this makes me look like an office worker but like aaron was like obsessed with it so i had to buy it obviously and then we have this is the last clothing this is rue 21 so let's see what we have in here oh i got two pairs of jeans because their jeans were buy one get one free and that's like really good to get jeans buy one get one free and they're not like super expensive there i think they're they are 35.99 so 36 bucks for two pairs of jeans is a good deal so these are those like i see it says but i love you so they like make your butt look good so they look like this they have two little rips on the pocket i don't own any jeans with rips in them so this is all new to me but it just has some rips in it throughout jeans and then at the very bottom so I got those ones those are like dark wash and then these ones are like light to medium wash they're unbuttoned I'm so ratchet but and they just have rips on them too if you can see that so I got two pairs of jeans for 36 bucks I thought that was a good deal then I love this dress this was like a splurge for me it was $26.99 but guys it's this beautiful it's my favorite color it's maroon and it's like a corduroy dress with a zipper all the way down like if you can see this it's like corduroy material and it's so cute like this looks so good on I have no idea where I'm gonna wear this but I literally saw it and I was like I need that so I bought it then I got this shirt and this was $16.99 and it's just like a really pretty black and white tie-dye with some gray and then it has like a little um I don't know what you call it like checkerboard with some little sunflowers I just thought it was cute and it's like an easy throw on outfit and then what is this oh this was on sale for five dollars and again this is another thing I can wear with printed leggings because what the hell is going on here okay anyway it's just like a simple tank top but it has like floral crochet like detailing at the top and then lastly but definitely not least we have Ulta there we go oh my gosh so if you know me I am obsessed with this perfume called Alien, and it's like super expensive, so I have one bottle of it, and I like, it just fell out. I have one bottle of it, and I literally like savor it like it's going out of style, like I, you don't need a lot of it, and it actually stays on, like you know how Bath & Body Works perfumes, you spray, and they smell good for like 30 minutes, and then afterwards you can't even tell you're wearing them? This perfume literally stays on, like you can smell this hours after you put it on, which is so rare with perfume and it smells so good like every person that i have shown this perfume to say it smells so good like it's so unique i don't even know how they describe it but it's amazing and the one i have is the tiniest one you can get well it's not a roll-on but like it's the tiny spray one and it's not refillable so this one it's called alien and this one is a refillable one which means you can take this to like a department store that sells the perfume and refill the bottle for like way cheaper than buying a new bottle so I was so and Aaron bought me this I was so excited I literally cried like I'm obsessed with this perfume I could talk about it for hours but I won't but I'm excited to have refilled one because the one I have isn't so I would have to buy like a whole new bottle of it but this one I can refill for less than buying a new bottle then the rest of the stuff my mom bought me for my birthday because my birthday is next month so first we have this urban decay eyeshadow oh i just choked in the shade easy baked and this is really pretty and i haven't bought an urban decay single eyeshadow in a long time but i was like i saw this and i was like oh that's pretty so this is the color and i will swatch it isn't that pretty Oh, that's pretty. So I got that. Then I got, oh my gosh. Well, I had to get a new one of these. My Too Faced Better Than Sex. Literally, if you haven't tried this mascara, you seriously have to. Like, I know it's so hyped up, but it's worth all the hype. Like, this mascara is so freaking good. Like, so good. This is all I use. And right now I'm using a mini because I, like, my other one's, like, almost gone. It's, like, on the last leg of its life. So I was like, Mom, I need a new one of this. So I got that. And then, so I asked the girl... I am not a powder highlight girl. I like liquid, cream, stick highlight. Like, I don't like powder. So I was like, what is the best liquid, cream, just not powder, highlighter? And she said, Becca Recover FX. So I tried out the Becca, and honestly, I've looked at Becca highlighters so many times, and there's really not a color that I, like, love. Like, I don't know. That's probably really weird, but I don't know. 
I just haven't found a color that I really love. So I got one from Cover FX. It's called the Custom Enhancer Drops. And this one is in the shade Sunlight. And it's one of those droppers. So it looks like this. It has really nice gold packaging. And it's just like one of those little... So I'll swatch it. Oh my god, this is literally so pretty. Look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh. And it's literally blinding. Like, look at that. Oh my gosh, it's literally so pretty. Like, even when you blend it in all the way, it's still blinding. Like, it's crazy. So, I freaking love this. And then the last thing I got was a new Morphe palette. So, um, that's the only thing I have for Morphe. Well, I have a brush from them, too. But I have the Morphe 35F. I think it's, like, Fall into Frost or something, and it was funny. Because I was looking at all the palettes, and I was like, oh, this one is so pretty. And then I was like, that's literally the one I have. Like, what? A, oh my god, like blonde moment but this one is called the 35b stunning vibes artistry palette and it is so pretty i love it so and it has this little thing with all the shade names i personally will probably only use like the safe side i really i would say rarely but i honestly never use colored eyeshadow but these shades like right here are so pretty like Oh my gosh, let me swatch some of them. And the eyeshadows are so soft and creamy. They're like, oh my god, they're unreal. This is amazing. So there's four of them. Right here. This is two and this is two. Look how pretty those are. Oh my gosh, so I went crazy. And they're only like $25. They're not like super expensive. So, that is everything about Amara Beach. One more thing. Okay, last <laughs> but not least, um, while I was on Pier 14, it's like a restaurant that's like on the pier, like you walk out and it's like on the beach. I got this really cute Myrtle Beach frame, and then me and Aaron took this really cute picture with a palm tree in the background, so it's framed, so that's adorable. And then we also have this one, there's a glare, but right here. So that was my haul, hope you guys enjoyed, enjoy. Actually, summer's over, so I was going to say enjoy the rest of your summer, but it's pretty much over. So I love you guys. I will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Okay.